Hey guys, so today to celebrate Women's Empowerment Month in Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, I thought it would be fun to read about Helen Keller. And I did choose this one rather than randomly picking one because you know we have been spelling the word empower every day in sign language because of Helen Keller. So for parents who don't know, we do a get fit card every day, which is like jumping jacks or push-ups or something just to kind of get our bodies moving and kind of have a brain brain break and we count in a different language every month based on whatever we're celebrating that month. So instead of counting this month, we've been spelling the word empower in sign language because of Helen Keller. So let's all spell empower together. E M P O W E R. Awesome job. Let's read about Helen Keller. Once upon a time, a girl named Helen suffered from a bad fever that left her deaf and blind. So deaf means you can't hear and blind means you can't see. So she can't see or hear. Frustrated and angry, she used to lie on the ground, kicking and screaming. One day, her mom took Helen to a special school for the blind. A talented young teacher named Ann Sullivan met them and decided to try and teach Helen how to speak. But how could you learn the word doll if you cannot see your doll? Anne wondered. How do you say water if you've never heard anyone speak? Anne realized that she had to use Helen's sense of touch. She held Helen's fingers under the running water and spelled the word water on her hand. Kind of like we spelled the word empower. Then she spelled the word doll while Helen cuddled her favorite doll. Helen suddenly understood that different words stood for different things. With her fingers on Anne's lips, Helen felt the vibrations when the words were spoken, and slowly she learned how to make those words herself. Soon she was speaking out loud for the first time. She learned how to read Braille by running her fingers over the raised dots. She even learned different languages, French, German, Latin, and Greek too. Helen gave public speeches and championed for the rights of people with disabilities. She traveled the world with her amazing teacher and her beloved dog. She didn't need words to tell them how she felt. She just gave them a big loving hug. And she was born on June 27th, 1880, and she passed away June 1st, 1968. And she was born in the United States of America. And her quote is, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. And I love this illustration because you can see those little dots on her book are braille. So people who can't see, they still want to enjoy books as well, right? So they have to run their fingers over these little raised dots on the page and that's how they read. So, 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 so cool that we got to read about Helen Keller today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow.